hey guys so it is monday um the 19th and it is currently 8 24 p.m and i didn't vlog earlier just because I, I literally slept until 12 um then i got up did a bit of devotional work um i started a new devotional on the bible app and it's the gideon plan from priscilla shire i am loving it like one thing I will say is recently, one, if you guys hear my brother, I apologize, he's loud, but this is a bit of a vlog style video, so you're not going to probably see this up f for probably a week since this week I am going to be um, fasting and consecrating myself for the coming elevation service on Friday. What are we doing? Okay, sorry, my sis just texted me. I'm going to be dancing next Sunday at the church. Um, because next Sunday is our actual 10-year anniversary date. Um, all month of August we've been celebrating, but the 25th is like the actual date of the anniversary. So we're all dancing. The entire dance ministry is dancing. But because we can't really meet all at the same time, with it being summer and then the elevation and stuff, um, she just texts me my part. So I need to actually listen to that. I need to listen to that and figure something out. But, okay, so today. What did I do today? Today, pretty much just relax. Did some devotional. Like I said, I started the Gideon one on Priscilla, by Priscilla Shire on the Bible app. And um, I've noticed a huge difference in when I pray before a devotional and when I, I don't pray before a devotional. Because as I started to read it, um, I didn't really get a lot out of it. So something told me to stop reading and to pray and just invite the Holy Spirit. And I know a lot of the times I forget to pray. It's not that I purposely forget. It's just a habit where I'm used to just getting up doing devotionals. I don't really pray as often as I should when I do them but today when I prayed oh my god whew, I learned so much um and I've always been intrigued by Gideon I know that he was I, I believe he was one of the judges um he's mentioned in Judges 6 but um I was so intrigued got so much out of it I don't know if you guys follow me on the Bible app but I was putting so many notes within and that's what I'm going to be doing too with the Bible app I'm going to actually start inserting some of my study notes so that you guys can like see them if you follow me but um yeah that was pretty much it i did pick up my suit okay so you guys can see how we gonna do this uh right there that bag right there it's from k and g fashions so my pastor told us on sunday that we needed to have a specific suit which is a casper suit casper starts with a k um so we went there and she told us the store but the store she mentioned was in harlem i went on the website found out that they had one out in Irvington, new jersey which is not too far from me literally 11 minutes from where i live so we went there instead of going all the way to new york because anybody got time for that anyways so we went there and they did have a lot they have a phenomenal selection of suits let me just say phenomenal but casper they did not have my size let me just say i found no suits in my size i had to settle for a size four in two different brands and um yeah i'm a size two two three um so you know how some jeans are like they have size threes and some jeans i'm like a two three um i'm petite as well on top of that so the size four suit it fits but it's really long and then the size four skirt just obviously it's not gonna fit it just isn't um it fits it'll fit because i have to tuck my shirt in anyway underneath the um uh, under the skirt but i'm gonna have to figure something out i was gonna go get it um altered and stuff like that before friday but that's just too much it's a lot of finances going right now like a lot of finances so i'm just i'm not able to do it so what i'm gonna do is just get some safety pins and pin the hell out of that skirt for friday um the suit jacket is a little bit long but we're gonna manage it but i do have that and then that great thing right there is my actual like garment for the ordination which is my cassock my um, surplus as well as my tab collar shirt i put my cross in my dresser i need to remember to actually take that out friday like i need to stick a sticky note everywhere so that i remember not to leave the cross um but i have that out so that it can already be like somewhat straight before friday thursday night i'm going to either steam it or iron it we'll see they say don't iron it <laughs> because it's like the material so we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Um, I might just take it down a block to get steamed. Um, cause I have a cleaner's laundromat slash thing down the block from the house. But yeah, so that's pretty much what happened today. So I did get my suit. My um, son's father, fiance, got it for me. Um, and first of all, okay, so the suit jacket I got is from Nine West, and that thing was sixty dollars. Now, Casper was a bit cheaper. They were on the $29, $39, dollars kind of range. They were like $30, $40, but they didn't have my size. They only had sizes 8 and up, and um, 8 way too big. 
So I got a settle for the size 4 and 9 bust. Um, and it's a little long on the arms. It fits pretty much well, but it's not as fitted as I would like. But um, I got it anyway. Just gonna rock that. But that's sucker. Now keep in mind, I found one that was a size 8 or a size 10. That one said $39.99. But for some reason, the size 4 was literally $59.99. That's $60, you guys. So I was a little irritated with that. Um, I could have went to Forever 21 and got me a cute little blazer for like $20. Just saying. <laughs> but um, the skirt, I don't know what brand the skirt is. But the skirt was like $39.99 or $35.99. Basically, everything together was about $100. Yeah. Um, so I spent $100 on my suit. And um, luckily, I only have to wear the suit once a month on first Sundays when we do communion and I only have to wear the entire suit with the garments when we're there's like ordination services so I will have to wear um, my suit again twice in September once for um, communion Sunday and then also for um, the ordination service we'll be doing for my first lady who is a pastor my first lady is a pastor um, but she's being elevated to senior pastor at my church since my bishop was elevated to bishop <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, so that's what's going down. And, um, yeah, so the next thing on my agenda is to get these ragamuffins done. I'm thinking I'm going to just do nude and have him um, give me the coffin style because I don't really care for this. My nails have been like this for weeks. Um, it's time to go. So if not tomorrow, then Wednesday, I'm going to run to the nail salon and get my nails done. Um, as far as my hair, my edges right now, you guys can see the little frays. Like, they all over the place right now because it's too hot. This, this heat has been killing me. So, um, we have that to do, but I'm just going to flat iron my hair on, um, Friday before we leave. Hopefully it's not too hot on Friday. But yeah, with that, with the, with the, with the, with the heat and the humidity and the rain, it's just been ridiculous. So I'm not really concerned about my hair. I can just, I'm probably just going to style it into a bun, honestly, because I don't want it all over the place because I already feel like I'm going to lose, you know, I'm going to just let the spirit take control, you know, but, um. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I'm, I'm getting really, really nervous because um, it's like coming to the day like, you know, I've been running for years and it's just, I don't know, it's it's a change, a really big change. Um, and most people won't see much of it being a change, but for me and where I was and me running from the call for so long, it's a change. <laughs> Um, definitely a change for the better. I can definitely, I was actually watching a few of my videos from the past when I first started Daughter of Increase and I'm just amazed at how I've gotten, um, I've gotten brighter, I guess. If, I, I don't, brighter sounds stupid, but you know, there was something, I don't, I don't want to say there was a darkness to my face because obviously there wasn't, but there was something about my old videos compared to my videos now. Um, and it has nothing to do with being on YouTube because I've been on YouTube for years since 2009 I've been on YouTube. I've been on YouTube for nine years ten years. So um, it has nothing to do with that I don't know. It's just I could see the change um, Of God working in me and still actually, you know doing the work within me. So that's amazing. I did go to Walmart um, Because a young lady had asked me to grab some stuff for her, but then she surprised me and was like keep it <laughs> So I love you guys. Um, I've noticed a lot of the time some of you guys would be like, hey, um, like if I make a video or share something that I'm interested in, you guys hit me up and ask me to go at my, to my Walmart. Like you literally would send me the money, ask me to go find it. And then when I say I got it, you guys would like literally basically just tell me to keep this stuff. And it blows my mind um, at how amazing you guys are. Some of you guys will financially, you know, give to the ministry. A lot of times you guys will send me letters, emails, d direct messages, um, and stuff like that. And I love it so much. So I did go to Walmart. I did go to Walmart. And um, I snagged up this. I actually have a haul video. Yeah, today has been a really chill day. My nerves are rattled like a lot so what i'm gonna do is actually get on youtube and watch um crazy faith part two from michael todd and then tomorrow i'm gonna watch some sarah jakes um I, those two for now sarah jakes and michael todd as well as priscilla shire they have been really speaking to my spirit like so much so um i am gonna start a journal for sarah jakes sermons because i have a journal now for michael todd but michael todd does series you know he does like eight weeks six week long series so the journal that i was using for sermons is literally i have all of his sermons, I probably may have may have two sermons that are not from him, but the rest of them are all his sermons. Um, I do need to watch his Mark series as well as Planted Not Buried series, but I decided to just go on with the series he has going on right now, which is Crazy Faith, which is amazing. First one was 
phenomenal and um gonna get into part two tonight um i'm not watching any anime for the week which is hard i'm not posting on social media um if you see posts like on the facebook group or even on instagram those were scheduled already because i do use an app that i can schedule my post on so that's great for me so i have those scheduled but i won't be actively posting things i'll probably take pictures but i won't post them up until probably friday or saturday but um yeah today has been a chill day chilled relaxed day nothing crazy has been going on um like i said i'm relaxing uh, all those clothes right there i had to put them up literally just got back in the house from shopping like i said for the suit and went to one my mom got some stuff to eat so yeah later on tonight i'm gonna do my haul because like i said i have a lot of things here like i have washi tape and stuff that i want to haul from walmart i have this little roll of washi tape that i got i have a bunch of stickers and stuff so i'm gonna haul that stuff later on hopefully i can get my son to bed at a, at a decent time I'm trying to get him back on a schedule since school starts within two weeks um first day of school for him and my sister are on this thursday september 5th so they literally have about two weeks um before school starts i'm trying to get him back on a consistent regulated schedule of being in bed by 8 30 actually i want him to sleep by 8 30 but because i know he's been up all time all the time for summer this week i'm trying to get him in by 8 30 it is late it's 8 42 like i said we was out so um after he eats he directly get in the bed but starting to probably not tomorrow either because we're gonna yeah i don't know when we're gonna do that because this week is crazy we gotta go to new york tomorrow for a meeting um yeah we have a, a meeting at church the minister minister alliance meeting for the elevation service and then wednesday i'm probably just gonna get my nails done thursday my brother has rehearsal at the church we're going to for friday um and then friday is obviously the service so wednesday and thursday i'm probably going to use for myself i'm trying to get my son to leave thursday so that friday i can just you know really be zen um tomorrow i'm going to try to do things a lot better um as far as because like today I, I just wasn't with it today i was sleepy tired and all that so tomorrow um, my goal is to get up at 5 11 my clock alarm clock goes up at 5 11 um, so i'm gonna get up i'm gonna eat breakfast before um six because we are um we are consecrating ourselves as a church this week not the not the entire church but like those who are a part of the ministerial alliance team um we're consecrating ourselves this week for the service so from six to five you know there's no eating so um i want to get up on time tomorrow so i can at least have a little bit of coffee a little little you know a little breakfast a little pancake something like that <laughs> so yeah but um for now I, I guess that's it today's been a chill day tomorrow just a meeting so i'm probably not gonna get my nails done but right now i'm thinking neutral colored nails and coffin style because i really i'm just not liking this it just ugh, irritates me so i'm gonna see if my guy can do that um and yeah Okay, guys, so I just had to pull up my music for a second. Um, sorry about the lighting in this video. It's just a quick vlog, so, yeah. But, um, real quick before I get my day really, really going. But, um, so I managed to go to the nail salon today. Got my nails redone. Uh, I want to show you guys the color. It's really pretty. It's not going to pick up well on camera, but it's a really, really pretty color. It's like a light pink and a lavender. Because you guys know lavender is like my color. Um, I initially wanted to go for a neutral color, but they didn't have the color I wanted. So I just settled for this color. And I like it. <laughs> um, right now, I'm looking up some stuff for my first lady because she just texted me. And as you guys know, I do work as her assistant and finding things. And um, not just finding things, but like doing things in general. I'm her assistant. So I'm, right now, I'm looking up some flight information for her. And, um, whew, they want an arm and a leg now. But, um, so that's what I'm doing. And behind me, you guys can see my garment bag and my garments and stuff. Um, I, okay, so I bought my suit on, I, I think I vlogged when I got that suit on Monday. And it was... <laughs> pricey now the suit that i mentioned the suit that she wanted us to get was casper they didn't have my size the smallest size i believe casper had was an eight that's way too big so um the only size that was available in my size in in that store in general was a size four and i'm normally a size two three so i literally just i took out the shirt and everything and the skirt to try it on um so this skirt um the brand is what's the brand on this lena Lina Donna, Lina Donna, I don't know, it's a size 4 though, size 4, 
um, and it's big, but I can get away with it, um, but I'm probably still going to pin it in just a little bit at the waist, um, literally I can pin it this much in, so this much is like how much is left out of the skirt, so, but I don't think I'm gonna do some excessive pinning, I'm probably just gonna pin like right here, and, um, it might look weird, so I might have to just pin the entire skirt like that in. Yeah, it's gonna look weird just because it like has this like flare out part so we'll see i'm gonna pin it somehow some way so it's not as crazy but got the skirt and then the jacket was from nine west um it's also a size four if you guys can see size four and this puppy was 60 bucks like it actually retails for 90 dollars, but i only paid 60 bucks because you guys know um but i literally just tried it on with my tab collar shirt which is here, I need to actually put all this back on the hangers and make sure everything is good. Um, but yeah, we had our meeting last night for the service, um, just going through the program and everything, and it just was like, it is, it's hitting hard, you guys. It's really hitting hard because this is like, ha it's, it's happening. Like, there's no running away. There's no, not like, it's happening. And um, it's, it's emotional. Um, I, I, this week I've been trying so hard to keep my emotions in check. But, um... If you guys see, like, my first video to where I am now, and then you guys know por a portion of my story, uh, my testimony, um, it's, it's been a journey. It's been a long, long journey, and um, though I've been a Christian all my life, I got saved about 10, 11, I can't remember, it was about 10, 12, between 10 and 12 I got saved, um, but, you know, I didn't truly find God for myself until about two, three years ago, you know? Um, so it's been a very trying, trying journey, and, um, it's just, it's amazing to see God working in my life, to see him really changing and me becoming more like him, um, and things like that, so, yeah, it's crazy. I do have to finish my paper, though, because that's due tonight by 11.59 p.m. <sighs> the plan was for me to get it done by tomorrow and send it tomorrow, which is Thursday, um, but last night's meeting, they was like, no, Wednesday by 11.59 p.m. So, it's not that my paper wasn't done, because you guys know I did the paper. Um, it's 18-page paper, I did it. However, I had to edit mine because I forgot a resurrection, because there's actually three resurrections in that two. And then there's seven baptisms, I only included, included three. And then she also wanted to, wanted us to include, like, appl application-styled, um, understanding of each of the doctrines so i need to go in and just insert those and then i can send that to her so i'm going to be working on that today i also have a book i need to read i don't know where my book went though oh here it is <laughs> i have to finish this christian fantasy novel it's a christian fic it's a christian fiction christian fantasy novel so that's why i'm reading it i'm actually reading two uh three christian novels right now four correction so, the plan. Okay, so let me just briefly run down what's been going on with my reading. Okay, I'm just grabbing my books. So, you guys know, um, right now we are currently in week three of the Esther Anointing. So, we're reading chapters six to eight. And I read it last week, so I was able to get all the quotes and posts and stuff up scheduled for this week. So, we are still in the Esther Anointing. By the time you see this video, we'll probably either be in the last week or finish with this book. But, um, yes, it was great. I loved it. Um... It's really awesome just going back through and, like, annotating this book up. So awesome. So I have that. Um, I don't have to read anything to, um, next week, though. Thank gosh. I'm um, probably going to read the last two chapters on Monday to get everything situated for the week. Um, and then, okay. So this book, I, this is a book I've been reading for a minute um, because it bored me. However, I finally just sucked it up and read it because the author actually contacted me and asked me about it. And I felt bad because I haven't been reading it because the first two pages actually bored me. Um, but I picked it back up and it's holy cow i am actually enjoying this a lot more than i thought i would um it is a fictional novel based off of a uh what is he a, a liberal journalist who works for the national na nation's capital um and he does sort of interviews for this reverend named sammy milton and sammy milton was um an american political kind of preacher and a lot of people didn't care for him so they're basically trying to get an article um trying to root for his death but in meeting his enemies, his enemies are not even really enemies. They actually like this guy, and it's like the stories that they're telling about Milton. 
so amazing so i'm actually enjoying this a lot more than i thought i would um so i'm on page 106 right now so i'm probably not gonna pick this up today only because i have other things to do but i'm reading this and then i'm reading this one it's called the legendary wolf by amar habib i'm probably butchering it but um i don't think this is christian related but i got it from a blog store company that i work with that does a lot of christian novels and clean novels so this one is an adult thriller um it, it's action-packed it's crazy it deals with an assassin um and uh how tormented he is by his past and how he's caught up in this like he's caught up in so much stuff and it's so good it's really action-packed um it kind of reminds me of like jason statham's kind of m movies or uh not john wick oh my god those action-packed movies. I'm trying to... I, I haven't seen John Wick, so I can't really say John Wick, but this guy's an assassin, and he's crazy, and he's awesome, but he's really tormented by his past, and he has, like, this ghost haunting him um, that has to do with his past. It's, it's really good. I love it a lot. Um, okay, concerning this, which is The Land of Silence by Tessa Afshar. Oh, my God. I've read the first two chapters, and I'm done. I am done. First of all, what is her name? Elena? Eliana, sorry. Eliana. Poor girl. Oh, I felt so bad for her. Like, the whole situation with the bee, and then her brother, and then her parents. It's like, who do you get mad with? I'm kind of upset with her because of what she allowed to distract her from her brother. But I'm also upset with her parents because you knew that she wasn't the type to really pay attention. So, everybody is kind of like at a loss right now. And I can't stand her father, the way he's treating her. Her mother is a little bit of, mm, I like her betrothed. Um, what is his name? What is his name? Ethan? I think his name. Ethan. Yes, Ethan is so, so sweet. I, I need them to stay together, but I know she's going to break up because it tells me in the synopsis that they break up. So I hope by the end of this that they reunite or something because I don't know. Like, I'm tempted to just go to the back of the book and figure it out. But anyways, um, that freaking Pharisees oh, pissed me off. Pissed me off. So I decided to stop reading it because I want to do a reading blog on this because this is the last book I have to read from Tessa Afshar. And I don't know if this is going to replace Pearl in the Sand. Um, I don't. It might be second to Pearl in the Sand, but it might just replace Pearl in the Sand because Pearl in the Sand is my number one. This was the last book I needed to read from Tessa and I've been holding off because I'm trying to wait till Daughter of Rome comes out, but that comes out next year in March. March or February? I think it's February um, 2020. So, I'm going to do a reading vlog on this, which is why I stopped. I did tab it up. It was just, it, it was giving me just pain. So, yeah, we have that. And then, this Christian fantasy I'm reading because I have a blog tour. In the blog tour, my review is due on the date of my elevation service. So, I need to finish this tonight. Write my review Thursday so I can schedule it for Friday. Um, so, we have that going. And then, I'm also working on my sermon Bible. You guys know, I did a review on this Bible from Hendrickson. Um, it's their KJV expressions journaling bible i think is what it's called i'm looking to see uh it's the kjv journaling through the word i think it's their expressions bible is what they call it i don't have the thing anymore but um yeah i'm going through and i'm going to be putting my sermons in because what i normally do is i just highlight the, the portions um and then i have separate notebooks that i do my actual like sermon notes in but i think what i want to do let me show you guys some other ones that i've done like for this one i did it journaling style where i highlighted and it's two different colors because the orange was for one sermon and then the pink was for a different sermon so like i was doing it almost journaling style let me see if i can find some more for you guys there's some more in here somewhere now I can't find it, but um, I'm going to do a whole flip through of how like I do my sermon notes and whatnot, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's in. <laughs> you guys, I'm like really all over the place right now. I think it's in Mark that we did. No. Yeah, so like I was doing it this way as well. Almost like journaling notes um, and using the highlighters to mark off the actual dates of the sermons. But, yeah, I'm not doing it anymore. I figured out a new way I'm going to do that. So, what I'm doing now is I'm going through for some of the sermons that I've already, like, highlighted. And um, I'm going to actually write the full sermon notes here. That way, as I flip through this Bible, I can actually read the notes from that said sermon. Um, and just because this is going to be a keepsake Bible that I keep, I'm actually going to probably 
purchase and purchase one of these i did get this for a re review but i might get another one of these um either in their brown or their black and use it as well for a sermon bible just because i think it's awesome to keep all of my sermon notes in a bible that's specifically for the sermons and this is in the kjv which is what a lot of the preachers um preach out of so that's my goal today is to tackle some of that um yeah i'm hungry i'm thirsty i want coffee so bad um we have been doing some things oh my phone did my pastor text me back yet i'm waiting to see what she wants me to do she has not yeah so friday is a service and then saturday um i'm doing a gig with my sis a makeup gig um my sis who's also going to be elevated as an evangelist as well with me on friday she has a singing gig because she came out with her first single and i shared it with you guys before um but i'll leave a link down below to her youtube channel you guys can check her out her name is kimmy J yes um so she's going to be performing her single as well as i think a few other songs on saturday so i have to do her makeup and then sunday dancing at church i haven't gone to the foot doctor yet um i still need to go to the foot doctor so they can actually do an x-ray of my toe to check the bone but um it doesn't hurt it's just the toenail only because of the toenail had the blood clot on it um but it's like the toenail is growing out thankfully so that's a plus for me so that's awesome it does hurt every now and then if i wear shoes for too long just because of that blood clot I really just want to get it drained but it's okay whatever it's not like a, bl a bad blood clot it's just you know black and blue right now on my toenail and it just hurts and it's irritating me but it's not like severe so i'm just letting it run its cross let course letting the toenail grow out and clipping it as it grows out so that it's not causing me pain but um yeah i'm dancing on sunday which i probably shouldn't be but i'm going to and i'm only going to be dancing for like a minute to a song and then i actually just found a new song that i want to dance to for september because i told myself i'm going to start dancing back in september but yeah and i think i'm also going to, i'm supposed to be preaching in september i'm not i don't want to call it preaching but it's supposed to be a platform service in September that I might be speaking at at my church. So, yeah, um, I have to work on that sermon as well. Because I started working on it and I already have my scripture. You guys saw it on Instagram and stuff like that. So I just need to actually like finish typing it out. But I think I want to get learn to um, memorize my text. Um, not memorize my text, but memorize my notes for my sermons. Or like just write an outline, but have it have a complete manuscript but then have an outline when i'm preaching if that makes sense i don't like the word preaching ah but when i'm speaking have an outline that i can read through because i find that if i look at the paper too much i'm not going to give eye contact so um yeah i'm working on that so yeah and i'm tr i have to also find a way to record my video for the kingdom sisters because this month is the last month of the kingdom sisters and i've been falling off with that only because the service is like so close and um we're supposed to be doing psalms 119 this month i'm trying to squeeze that in um because i'm probably not even gonna i don't know i gotta figure it out yeah i gotta figure it out but yes um i think that's it for now you guys today has really been like a good day it's one o'clock right now so i did get my nails done I'm just gonna flat iron my hair, um, the, like, the, uh, edges and stuff like that to keep it straight and just run my hair out. I'm not wearing no makeup because we gotta wear that white surplus. I ain't trying to have no mistakes. Um, the suit, I'm just gonna pin it. I'm gonna pin the sleeves because the sleeves are a little too long, so I'm gonna pin the sleeves inside with the safety pins. The skirt, I'm gonna pin in as well, just a bit. Um, and, yeah, we're gonna call it a day. I may just eventually go and actually get it altered altogether, but I may just go buy a size 2 suit as well from like macy's or something but yeah hey guys so it is thursday the day before the elevation service and um it is 228 yes you see my garments i have them hung up my skirt my jacket with the shirt um the surplus as well as the cassock is all hanging up so um i'm i'm hungry right now like really really hungry so i figured that i would just focus on prayer um so i just actually finished editing a video that needs to go up for saturday um and i also did some like thumbnails and stuff like that i did my devotional the gideon devotional it's uh priscilla shire on the holy bible app which is so good and today the topic was all about um humanism and how even though we don't have like idols and gods like the israelites worshiped back then we still have those moments where we are um we're we're humanist in a sense 
in that she asked the question of um, if there was ever a time that we could kind of recall when we basically had a conviction from the Holy Spirit, but we kind of ignored it or compromised that conviction. And it really just was like, wow. So um, I'm getting ready to get on the floor and pray for a while. I'm going to try to pray for 15 to 30 minutes. I am going to play some worship music in the background because I find that worship music really helps me to get into that kind of mode. And I know some people can literally just pray, you know, without that. But I find, especially with everything that's getting ready to occur, I'm going to need a little bit of um, silence, like not silence, but something to drown out. I don't know if you guys can hear my neighbors literally next in that window next door are blasting music right now. I'm not sure if you can hear it. But um, I have my, and I'm going to show you guys how I set up to pray. Um, and I don't do this often. I literally just pray in my chair most of the time. But for something as big as tomorrow, I need to do this. So um, I have my yoga mat. This yoga mat is specifically for praying. I bought a new yoga mat specifically to pray and gave my old yoga mat to my sister because she wants to work out. So for right now, I'm using this yoga mat. I do plan to get a new one and I want it to be lavender specifically for praying. And then I'll use a pink one to work out. But this yoga mat I got for $5 at Five Below. <laughs> then I got this chair seat. It's like a chair seat cushion I got from my local discount store. And then that is actually a pillow cover that I put underneath. And it just is purple with roses. So I literally just place my knees there. And I have it rolled up at that end so that if I decide to put my face on the floor, it's not like on the floor, on the floor. So that's what's going on. I have my music popping, popping. I have my music going rather with the um google home which is right here the google home is on but i just paused on music um i have my bible here because I, I need to get cracking on this paper so we do have to go back to new york today because my brother has rehearsal for tomorrow night so we're gonna go pick him up from that so i'm gonna work on my paper but right now i really feel like i need to just pray and um, ask God for his guidance and his help and um, because I've been I've been doing pretty good this week um, with the not being on social media every all the posts that you guys have been seeing have been scheduled like I said and I use a app called later literally l-a-t-e-r um, they also have a website later.com that I use to schedule all of my Instagram posts and my Facebook I can just schedule Facebook posts as is so um, I have been great with that I did pop on Instagram for like two minutes and then I was like oh wait no I can't do that so I got off of Instagram hold on sorry about that my sister I came to my door but um yeah just I need to really get a handle I've been doing really good um I haven't been praying as much as I wanted to, which is bad on my, that's on my part. Um, but I'm going to spend, like I said, 15 to 30 minutes just worshiping and praying. And I'm going to actually crack open my prayer journal and put that out and just jot down some stuff. Um, because tomorrow is like, it's here. Like tomorrow is the ordination service. And, um, you know, all the past few months have been like crazy with my emotions, but like, it's here like there's a few hours so um my nerves are jittery um really jittery and i i don't i don't know i do have to send messages to four people from my old church um because i really want them to come so i need to just send them reminders about it um but yeah so i'm just gonna put on some music right now and just pray worship for 15 30 minutes i'm gonna put actually put my alarm on just because i really do have to be on like a time frame right now my mom gets gets home about like six o'clock because she's going to urine nelson afterwards for friday so and then we have to pick up my brother so i need to be on a time frame just because i want to get everything done and i have to have this paper emailed by 11 59 p.m so yeah hey guys so i'm gonna try to keep my camera up just a bit because my shirt is a little too loose but it's 12 21 right now let me show you guys the time 1221 um the day of elevation service and i'm literally <laughs> finishing the last doctrine pretty much my paper was fine when i initially sent it in um i just had to go in and add like a paragraph per doctrine but the the one that i the two that i really needed to focus on were the um doctrine of baptisms as well as the doctrine of um the resurrection of the dead however 
As far as the resurrection of the dead, I'm just going to leave that one be. There are technically three resurrections, but I posted, I wrote about two. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, there are three. I'm not even going to edit that because then I'll be up all night. Um, I'm working on the adding in the other baptisms that I missed out because I only had three. Um, I had water baptism, baptism into Christ, and then I had the baptism of the Holy Spirit. If I'm not mistaken, I only had three written down. Um, but... I did some more research and found out that there are two types of, um, there are seven experiences of baptism, but two different types, if that makes sense. So you have your wet, bapti wet baptism, which consists of three types, which is the baptism of repentance, which is what um, John the Baptist was always preaching about, um, you know, repenting and all that stuff. Then you have the baptism into the body of Christ which is, um, oh my god, it's basically just being spiritually reborn, and then you have the water baptism, which is more so of an outward expression to the world of you being baptized. Um, this one, the water baptism is basically for those who have already experienced the first two, which is a baptism of repentance, and then the being baptized into the body of Christ. So those are the three for the wet baptism, and then for dry baptism, there are four, which is um, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, baptism of fire, the baptism of suffering, and then the baptism of Moses. And the Moses one, I've never heard of. I've heard of the other three, but I never heard of the, the one of Moses. But that one is apparently in First Corinthians. So I'm literally just typing a paragraph for each. I'm not going to do like a whole personal kind of application thing because I feel like that's com. I don't know. I feel like it's common sense, but whatever. Not common sense, but like. I hope you guys get what I'm saying. But it's late. I'm tired. It's 12.23. If I don't finish this by 1 o'clock, I'm just going to shut down and get up in the morning and finish it and email it to her before the service. <laughs> um, I know that she really wants these papers. Like, because, mind you, we was all supposed to send in our final. Like, all of our assignments should have been already in since the 15th. But she was away. And I guess we was all trying to, like slide away with it but um i'm literally done my page right now is on 20 pages it's really not 20 pages it's only because i um am working on the baptism doctrine but the rest of them i think are together let me actually make sure because they're not on separate pages it's one like complete page yeah everything else is fine so i think it'll be my paper will be about 19 pages um because i did the doctrine of eternal judgment that one was only like two pages i'm not even f doing that I'm, I'm just not we're not we're we're not <laughs> so i literally just have to work on the baptism one and then i can send it in um i'm, I'm really tired i'm really tired <sighs> and um a lot of like my family members and when i say family members i mean the family the family i have from my first church a lot of them are like messaging me and stuff they're gonna come to the service and i'm excited i'm nervous because nervous you know it's just anytime there's elevation you're gonna be nervous um do i feel like i deserve it no i don't do i feel worthy definitely not but um i am so grateful to god and i know i said this earlier i'm grateful to god for this opportunity for the chance to really just be in a leadership position in his kingdom um and to, i don't i don't want to say it's just a title because it's not just a title but um i'm still going to continue doing the work that i've been doing as far as like evangelizing because that's pretty much what i've been doing with this channel um but i don't know it's like there's a fire burning in me to do more with this channel and to do more with the blog and then i want to start hosting like events and stuff like that so I don't know. I don't know. But I'm tired. My my hand is getting like broken. Not broken, but it's starting to ache. But yeah, um, I wrapped my hair. We ironed our garments. Um, I'm probably gonna run the iron over my garments in the morning again, and then put them inside of the bag. Um. But yeah, I'm tired. It's twelve twenty six. I'm gonna end it here. And then the next footage you see will be in the next vlog, which is going to be all about today. But it's not the next day until I go to sleep and wake up. So to me, it's still the 22nd because I haven't slept yet. But yeah.
I'm gonna try to knock out this paper, email it, and go to sleep. So I'll catch you guys <laughs> later. Bye.